Good morning everyone. I decided to go through my body box today and thought I'd take you on a body box tour and rule out things that I don't really need and all that jazz. So that is one of the body boxes I am going to be going through today. Don't mind my tile floor, cement floor. Anyway, so let's start. Um, this is the tracker playset. This um, I only got this for the bowl out of it, and I kept the llama, or alpaca, whatever's in there, uh, for myself, but I sold off of the other pieces. Uh, I don't need these. These are available if you want these, so I'm just going to start with that, because that was just kind of on the top of the body box, and don't need that, so. But I don't like throwing things out. Maybe I'll donate it. That's what I think what I'll do. I'll just bring it to donation. So if you want it, let me know, otherwise I'm going to go donate it. We've got our lovely little... Brighty here, uh, Hickory Hills. I got this as a Christmas or birthday gift or something this year. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, this is another one of those. If you want it, let me know. Otherwise, it's getting customized at some point in time, perhaps. And my Marwari. This one I will be customizing at some point. Peter Stone Draft. He's pretty. Oh, this is the one I got at Briarfest this year. Um, Big Lex resin thingy. We got Clydesdale, Mare. Oh, look at that, a bunch of ponies. My little ponies. I'm probably never gonna get to these, so if you want some bodies of ponies, let me know. And fakey. Flicka, um, scamper mold, that's what it is. I always love this mold. I, um, when I sold off my old collection, I sold him and I kind of regretted it. So then I bought him again as a body. Um, he. I'm probably never going to get around to him, so I did have him as a for sale. Um, so again, if it's one of those you really want, let me know. But I might just, I might keep him, I don't know. He's one of those I'm not sure about. And then some of these I just, I'm probably never going to get to, I just have a hard time getting rid of. Um, I don't know who this is, some sort of Arabian something or another. I'm not an OF collector, so I don't know many names and things, so... This one looks, I got this in a body box of some sort. He looks like he's been painted, I think. Uh, another pony. Again, if you want that, let me know. And more ponies. And more ponies. These are the newer generation ponies here. These I might keep because I haven't customized any of those yet. Oh, we've even got some vinyl mations to customize in here, which I'm probably never gonna get around to. And some random wings from things. Tricky! I bought a bunch of these. I wanted to do, um, paint one as Robin Hood, wanted to paint one as Maid Marian, and I wanted to do one as Bolt. Um, as you can see, also never got around to it. Um, I did start sculpting on one of them. It's gonna be a heavy one. I don't, it's one of these. I started sculpting a nose on it to turn it into Bolt, but it, that one you can actually see in my sales album on Facebook. Um, anyway, yeah. I guess those can be available too. This guy also available. You know, missing a leg. I had the leg in here somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. So he's got some random paint on there too. This uh, it came off of a, a painting um, that I had. It was like a 3D airbrush painting thing. If anyone wants this, you know, basically just pay shipping. I don't really care about this thing. Breeds of the World Clydesdale. I'd like to get to this at some point. Um, I wanted to change this leg. Um, he's in there. I'm not going to bother taking him out. Copper Fox. I got these two years ago at Briarfest. They're um, blank canvases, which they're not really blank. They just have primer on them because they were like tests or whatever. So they need to be prepped and primed. All that stuff. I love these. These are pretty awesome. Oh, I did a bunch of airbrushing tests on this guy, different pressures and stuff, just to try and get my airbrush working. We've got a Huck here. I remember I was in dire search of this guy. It's like probably the uh, most expensive briar body I've ever bought. Because <laughs> um, I've always wanted to paint him. I like the mold and stuff. But since getting into resins, like I don't have a lot of time for any of this stuff. This is another little cutie here. See, like I look at these and I feel like I can do like so much with them. But I'm never going to have time to do that. I like this little lady. She was recent. Got a pacer up in here. Another Arabian of some sort. Clydesdale full. I like this little guy. This one I can't think came in like a 
paint your horse type thing. It came with like paint markers or something and stickers. But he was kind of cool. I don't think I've seen him before that. So, yeah, he's cool. I got this one. And this one. Same one, but um, I guess someone took all the paint off of it. A lot of these I got in like body boxes and stuff in the beginning before I was into resins and I was like all excited about buying briar bodies to paint. Um, and they kind of sat here and I sold a lot of them off. So, yeah. Jumper here. Yeah, I don't really need this one. So if you want this one, let me know. A couple of paddock pals. Another test of some sort I did on that one. Paddock pals. Um, love this one. Quarter horse, I believe it is. The love quarter horse. Peter Stone here, saddlebred. Another paddock pal. Paddock pal. I like this guy too. I've done one of these before. This was the very first body I purchased. Um, as you can see, it's still here. Um, and needs a lot of work. Although it looks like recently I started sculpting a new face. He's kind of cute. I'd like to finish this someday. A little laying full here. A little Shetland pony. Oh, there's the leg. Found his leg. So if you want that one, let me know. <laughs> um, I had these since I was a kid. Um, I sold off some of them and kept these guys because I figured they'd be fun to customize. They're like a rubbery, hollow, cheap plastic. Scrambling full. Uh, I guess this is a classic full. Kind of heavy. I don't know why it's so heavy. Another Flicka rearing stallion thingy. Don't think I really need this one either, so if you want that. And Hanoverian. I had like plans for this one, but then realized once I learned a lot more that he's going to need a lot more work than I expected, so. Um, I still kind of like him, but I don't know. So some of these traditional ones can probably go, except for the Clydesdale. I definitely want to keep the Clydesdales and the Shetland. Um, but the other ones I'm kind of like, if you know. If you're really interested, let me know which ones and I'll see what I can do. And looks like we got a couple more ponies in here. Again, if you want those, I have no use for them. Anymore. And another vinyl nation to customize. That's that body box. Let's move on to the smaller guys over there. Okay, we can start with this top bin here. We've got a little Allegro. I customized one. This was my second one. And we've got two of the Andalusians here that I still need to get to. We've got the Hanoverian. Jumper. And Sport Horse. Uh, Arabian. I don't really care for this one, so if anyone wants it, let me know. Oh, this was a um, custom safari that I started. Um, I'd like to finish it someday, but it's a mess. Stable mate, stable mate, older stable mate, little donkey. He's from the spirit pack. I just got him at uh, Briarfest. Um, I think this is another stable mate. Yeah, stable mate. Pretty sure all these are stable mates in here. Mm -hmm. Bubbly bubble. Yeah, I don't know the names for most of these. I think this is a Peter Stone, actually. Chips of some sort. Stable mate. Uh, this, I think, is also a chips. Stone, Peter Stone, Stable Mate, Stable Mate. Oh, I had started this guy, um, and I was actually almost done with him, and I noticed I left giant seams up the back of his legs. I don't know how I, like, missed that the entire time I was painting him, so I had to strip him and never got a chance to start over yet. This is another Stable Mate, little Highland Pony. I like this guy. I did one of these. I have another one here. Another one of these. A lot of these I don't care too much for, but I like to have them on hand for any sort of swaps and stuff that come up, or donations, things like that. Little foals, a lot more than I thought in here. Um, here's another chips, deal me. A couple of foals, more foals, some more older steel mates. Love this guy. He's a little fat. Ooh. One of those guys. Oh, I have another one of these. I have three of these. I did not know I had three of these. Alright, well I got three of those. Um, I might consider letting one of the ones in the packages go. This is this... I don't think this is Briar. I'm pretty sure this might be a stone. Another one that doesn't quite feel like Briar. No, that's... I don't know. This might... I don't know. I'm not sure. It could be a stone chips. Mustang... This guy I started etching on. 
Um, and I got frustrated. So I don't know how you actually do it. It was like done after this. <laughs> this was an older one um, that I started. Uh, yeah. Don't know when that's going to happen. Another one of those. Another one of these. Wow, I have way more than I thought I did. No more stable mate buying, huh? Uh, I love this cutie. I've done one of these before. So cute. But right here, this might be another chips. I could. I'm saying chips because it feels different, so I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know what this is. Where did I even get this? I think I got this at like the Hampton Classics at some booth. Not sure what brand it is, but he's cute. All right, let's move down to the next bin. Okay, these look like they might be all like Safari Collector, that type of stuff. Got a dragon here that I've had for a very long time. He's waiting for something, I don't know, either to be painted or his wings chopped off and used for something else. Shleich here, really cute. Um, these are some of the collectors I actually kept that have a harder plastic or ones that I just really liked. <clears throat> um, I sold off all my brand new ones. I had a quite a bit, probably about at least 10 of them. Um, I sold the new ones as like bodies because I the plastic is such a nightmare to work with and some of them are so rubbery. I was like, I was just so frustrated with the only three that I've done. So, but these are the ones I kept that I plan to customize at some point. Um, that are a little harder plastic. This is a Schleich, another one that I think is really cute and I like. I did one of these before. This one has always been a favorite of mine, Schleich, Schleich, uh, Clydesdale, full. This guy's a cute hunky chunk. Another Schleich. And this is a Collecta. Yeah, another Collecta, heavy duty. Another Collecta. This is what the first Collecta I got. Dartmoor. Cute Schleich donkey. A lot of the times I'll add these to my Amazon orders to hit the free shipping because they're fairly inexpensive a lot of the time and it, you know, why pay shipping when I can get basically a free thing. Uh, Little Mojo Shetland. Oh my god, these are so cute. These were, it was actually kind of tough to find those because they're not really available here too easily. Another Schleich Donkey Full. Uh, another old one that I've had forever. Again, those wings are getting chopped off for something. Oh. <laughs> this was the fire that's supposed to come out of the dragon's mouth. Clearly that fell off. Oh, what is this guy doing down here? Oh wait, no, this is a collector here, yeah, right? Collector? Yeah, he seems kind of hard for a collector. Uh, yeah. Uh, collector full. A little Schleich. Sh another Schleich donkey full. Is this the same one I just took before? Do I have two of these? Did I buy one not realizing I had another one? I did. Well, got two of those, but they're cute, so I'll, I'll customize both of those. A little zebra, adorbs. Uh, this is another mojo. Love it. Uh, this is uh, so far. Oh, this is the uh, this is the model that I actually customized. The other one you saw at the top. Um, this. This is what this used to look like. So that. It was going to be a saddlebred, so eventually I'd like to finish that. This is another slice. Another slice. I just like that mane on this one. I'm like, I really want to paint that. This is the Akaltek of the Collecta. I would have gotten rid of this one. However, I want to see how much of a difference I can make. Because it's like, whoa, like unicorn shiny. So, and uh, I don't know, it doesn't quite look tech to me. Um... So I'd like to make some modifications and see what kind of a transformation I can do on him. And this is another little Schleich. I have done one of these too. And a little grazing foal. Uh, gra yeah, grazing donkey foal collector. There's another Schleich. I think this is like the curly whatnot and so forth. Um, I got this at a little gaming store in a little clearance bin. Um, I want to turn him into Appa from Avatar. So that's going to happen at some point. And last but not least, another Schleich. Cute pony. And let's move to the last bin. Okay, last bin down here. This is a little metal horse. Um, I think I also picked this up at the Hampton Classics. It's made out of metal of some sort, lead or something. See, this also is that lead horse from my bar. Next, if I can put it in the camera. It's also that lead horse from, or metal horse from my briar hole video. I went to go bend the leg back and I snapped it. So that's gonna have to be repaired now. His leg should be in there. 
although I don't see it. Hmm, whatever. These are little plastic guys. I forget what brand this was. I had bought the whole set from somewhere. Um, an older brand or something. They're like a plastic type thing. I think that's from the set also. This one. They're really cute sculpts and have a lot of potential to make some really nice uh, customs. This one I think is a Britain's brand. Another cute potential on that one. Same with this one. Yeah, Britain's. Same with that one. This was from that other set again. And this one. This one. That one is also that set. This one, wow, there's a lot in that set. This one. Oh, this one is also from that set. Oh, this is an old unicorn I had. I don't need this. If you want it, let me know. That's resin. I got some fencing here. Just saved for like maybe pictures or something. Uh, a bunch of old cows. These used to be my grandmother's. Um, and clearly they need some uh, TLC. So I thought it would be fun to clean those back up. And then we got a bunch of... Oh, this is another one from that brand, whatever that was. And another Britons. Uh, micro minis here. Or the Briar, uh, Briar mini winnies. And this whole bag is full of other brands of mini winnies. And micro-like horses. Um, some of them even are the, I think, Creata or whatever that is, um, that look like the Briar but don't have the Briar mark. So I put those in there to make sure I'm distincting. These are actually Briar. These are not. So um, I think that's it. Um, oh, and there's another Paddock Pal hanging out over here, but I'm using him for a project. So eventually he'll get made into something. All right, so that's it. Those are my bodies. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, so there's a couple of things in here that if you're interested in, just let me know. Shoot me an email, post a comment, all that stuff. Um, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks again for watching. And like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.